Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to customize the lock screen on your iPad. So I did this video when iOS 16 came out with the iPhone, but finally we now have this feature of multiple lock screens and customizing your lock screen with widgets and all that on iPad as well, which I'm really excited about. So this is available on iPadOS 17. iPadOS 17 isn't released yet, it's still in beta, it will be coming later this year, but I do have the beta on my iPad so I can show you exactly how to use this if you don't know. And I'll show you some other cool features with the lock screen on iPad. So let's get started and take a look at lock screens on iPadOS 17. So here we are on my iPad, let's scroll down to the notification center so that we can actually see the lock screen. Let's just hold down down on the screen so we get this pop-up so this here is where all your lock screens are so you can have multiple lock screens if you have an iPhone this might be very familiar to you because this feature has been released for a year on iPhone but maybe this is completely new to you so just to explain all your lock screens you can have more than one will be here and you can also add new lock screens from this screen as well so I'm just gonna go to this one here so this was default before the update came out this is what the time looked like the font that the time had and um, for widgets, you could only have your widgets there at the side, which we've always been familiar with. But now with iPadOS 17, we have a lot of new features. So to create a new wallpaper, all you need to do is go to this section here. So it will be at the very right of all your wallpapers that you already have set up. So you just click on the plus button and then you can choose which type you want to set up. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to choose a photo. But as you can see, you have so many to choose from here. Again, if you have iPhone, you're probably familiar with all these but if not this is the new one that came out with iPad OS 17 so this is Apple's wallpaper as well as this hello one which is really cool which I'm gonna get into I do have them set up on my iPad so I will show you that but let's just quickly select just a photo here's the image that I selected so let's start and customize this so I am gonna start off with just the time here so this is just the most basic setup so you can click on there and you can choose the font that you want so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here and you can also adjust the thickness of your font so I'm just gonna make it around there and then you can also choose the color that you want for that so this color that you choose here will influence the color of your widgets as well so make sure you choose the right one that you want so I'm just gonna quickly go to this section here and then you're gonna use the eyedropper tool if you want to pick up a specific color that's already in your image so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to pick up Part of this yellow let's choose which one I think that one is gonna work well so then I have this set up and um, I can now start to add widgets and all that kind of stuff so first I just want to quickly cover all the options that you have down here for filters so you'll see here down here I have four options so the first one is natural which just means it's your image as you've added it then we have here black and white we have duotone which basically allows you to just change colors of the image that you added I don't usually use this and then you have color wash which also does the similar thing when where it just changes the entire color of your photo so I'm just gonna keep it at natural so for images like this which are very simple you have less options down here than as an image where you have a very clear subject with like a background with some depth to it which I'm gonna cover but for the sake of just going over this I'm just having this image as natural as it is so now let's go ahead and add some widgets so all you need to do is click here on add widget and this will pop up with all your widgets that you have so these are just suggested widgets but you have all the apps that have widgets that you can use are all here at the side so for iPad in this landscape setup you have a lot of space for widgets you can add a lot um, I will cover portrait settings for the iPad as well in a bit but yeah this is all the apps that I have available for widgets so let's go ahead and start to add some so some that I like is calendar here because it shows all your events you can just choose your date as well but you can also just choose like the events that it shows and as you can see the color like I said is influenced by the color that we chose for the time then we have the batteries widget which is also one of my favorites you can choose whether you just want for your Apple pencil or you want for all your devices you can go ahead and add that you have apps like color widgets and top widgets which are custom apps for widgets where you can design them yourself and add them in here I will make a video updated video on that on my favorite widget apps for iPad OS um, when it drops so 
be on the lookout for that. But um, yeah, Colorway just has some cool ones. I'm gonna just add the date one here. Then we have apps like MD Clock, which has some cool animated widgets, which I also love. So you can go ahead and adjust the characters. Um, this is a paid widget, but I think it's really cute. So this is also one that I love to use. So you can just go through all these widgets and find ones that you love. So um, you can also then tap here in this section and you can rearrange them if you want to. Um, if you all want them all here, like in the middle of your widget section, you can do that. And then basically this is what it's gonna look like. I love the look of it. And then once you're happy with your setup, all you need to do is click on add and then you can go ahead and either choose set as wallpaper pair or you can customize the home screen. So if you set it as wallpaper pair, that means that the image that you're using for your lock screen will also be the image that you're using as the home screen. But if you want a different image for your home screen, you can just select customize home screen. But let's just choose the set as wallpaper pair option just so I can show you exactly how that works. So now I will have my lock screen and my home screen as the same image. But if you don't want that, you can go ahead and hold down, customize, and then customize your home screen here in this section. You can choose a color. I like the gray option. You will see my apps are very colorful so I like a neutral background or you can just choose a different photo from photos and then add that as your home screen so those are the options that you have you can also choose different colors here if you want to they have the color option and they have the gradient option so that's really up to you click on done so now I have that and I have a custom home screen wallpaper. So that is the basics of setting up lock screen on your iPad with just a regular photo. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of the new lock screens that we now have with iPadOS 17. The first one I wanna cover is this hello one here. I'm gonna go ahead and customize this. So again, when you click on create new wallpaper, you can just choose the hello one and they have a bunch of color options here as well. So if I just swipe through here, you can see they have so many color options that you can go ahead and choose from. My favorite is the pink one, but um, yeah, they have nice ones. These are, this one is also really nice. I like that as well. And again, you can go ahead and add your widgets and all that. And it is actually an animated background. So I will show you just in a minute how like it animates. Um, and then also you can again choose to customize the font, but in this mode here with the hello wallpaper, you only have the option of two fonts um, to choose from for this. And then also you can just adjust the width um, and all that. So what I mean by it's animated is if you click on done, you will see that if you tap on it, it will show you the language. Um, and then you can tap on it again, it will show hello in a different language. So you can go through and see all that. When you lock your iPad and you turn it on again, it will automatically make a little animation. So again, let's go to customize here and you can see that you can go here to this globe icon and choose all languages or you can just choose your preferred language. So it will then just have whatever your iPad is set up for a language, it will just have that as your main screen. So I'm just gonna set it at preferred language so it'll always be in English. So now we have set this up, now let's go ahead and look at the little animation that it does when you go from your lock screen to your home screen if you have set it up as a wallpaper pair. Look at this. That is a smooth transition to from your lock screen to your home screen. It also has some shapes for the hello word, but it looks so cool. So that is something that's really fun with this wallpaper. Another wallpaper I wanna show you is the new iPadOS 17 wallpaper, which is this one here. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has that depth effect. So if you're not familiar with this, images that has a very clear subject will have this option of having this 3D look. I will show you in another image how this looks, but um, yeah, this wallpaper does have that option. Something that's really cool with the iPad in this landscape mode, when you have this depth effect turned on, it, it isn't influenced by if you have any widgets or not, because on iPhone, when you add widgets to your lock screen, you automatically lose this function of having this depth effect. So I really like this. It just gives a nice little look to your lock screen. Um, and it's just really nice here. You can turn it off or on if you want to in this little icon here, turn off and then it will look like that. Turn on and then it will nudge the time in between the background and the foreground. So this is the lock screen as default. 
Um, I love this lock screen. I love the colors that are in it. And again, you can add your widgets and everything in there. Let me show you another wallpaper which has that depth effect so you can kind of see how that works. So here I have this image here which has a really nice effect there at the back with the tree line as you can see. So it makes this depth effect where it nudges the time between the background and what it sees as the subject or the foreground which is now this grass. So this is just a really nice effect that you can add. And like I said, you can turn this off or on here in this section, turn it off or on but it just gives a nice effect to your wallpapers, add something else to it. So I really love this little effect that you can have as your lock screens for the time. It just makes it more dynamic, I think. So that's the gist of lock screens on iPad. And what I quickly wanna show you is when you switch from landscape that I have right now, so I have it here on my Magic Keyboard, when you switch to portrait, which is something completely different. So I'm just gonna quickly take this off and let's rotate. So as you can see now, it looks completely different. Also, my widgets are gone. And when you swipe to the right, it doesn't show up. So now you have to customize it to this setting. So let's go ahead and click on customize here. So I'm just gonna quickly resize this. And then what you have to do is you can now add widgets here, which is more familiar as that we're used to on iPhone. So again, you can click on add widgets and start to add some of your widgets that you want. So these are the widgets that I now added and now we still have the same options that we have obviously when setting up the lock screen, but now your widgets are situated like this. So I'm just gonna click on done. So now when it's a portrait, it's gonna look like this. And when you turn it, it's gonna look like you had it previously with all the other widgets. So you can set this up however much you want and however you prefer it to look when it's in portrait and how it's in landscape. So now when you have it in portrait, it's gonna look like this with these widgets. And when you turn your iPad, it's gonna bring up the other widgets that you have set up for the landscape mode. So I do like that they have this option as well as the sizing of your wallpaper. So you can customize the size of your wallpaper for portrait and for landscape and it won't influence the other one, which I really love. So this is just really helpful, especially if you are someone who uses both modes frequently, I love that you can set this up however you want for that. So now you will see when you have a wallpaper with the depth effect turned on like this one here, when you add a widget, it will take away that depth effect. So now it can work similarly to the iPhone more, whereas when you have it in landscape, it will still be able to have widgets and the depth effect. So um, yeah, this is more familiar to the iPhone like we know it. So that was lock screens on iPadOS 17. I hope this makes sense and I hope you found this helpful and you got some tips on how to use iPadOS 17's lock screen feature. Like I said, it is similar to iPhone, so if you have an iPhone, you're probably already familiar with this. But if you don't, and you don't know how to do it on an iPad and all the little things like the portrait and the landscape and all that, I hope this helped you and you got some tips. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see about iPadOS 17. I love to do them for you guys. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 videos. Um, so you can definitely catch up on all of those. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.